Okay, so once you have your palette, the first thing you're going to do is take the roll of tape and you're going to write your name. You're also going to put either 4A or 2B, whichever class you are. And attach it to the back of your palette. Alizarin Crimson, Cadmium Red Medium, Cadmium Yellow Light, Cadmium Lemon, Thalo Blue, Cobalt Blue, Cerulean Blue, French Ultramarine. Next thing you're going to need is a brush. I like the size 4 because it's kind of in the middle with everything. You're also going to need a cup of water, a paper towel, or two, and you're going to need your lovely swatches. Before you panic, yes, you are going to do all of these. So I'm starting out with the grays simply because they're the most challenging and people usually flip out when they first see this. You're also going to need your sketchbook. So I'm going to open mine to a blank page. Again, the first one I'm starting out with is grays. And I'm going to work one by one. You can choose to do it this way, you can choose to do it this way, just don't jump all around because then it makes it really difficult for you to figure out which ones that you have done and haven't done. So the first one is Graceful Gray. You don't need to write the rest of that, just write the title of it. Alright, are you ready? To get any other color, say you were trying to get a blue. This is pretty straightforward. Although it is not going to be only the blues that you use, it's going to be mostly the blues that you use. Same for the rest of them. So if I was to do reds, again, it would not only be the reds that are found here, but it would be mostly them. Purples, you guessed it, you're going to mix red and blue together to make the purples. Greens, again you're going to be mixing two colors together, I hope you know which two, if not, figure it out for yourself. Yellows, you're going to use the two yellows down here, along with all the other colors, but very, very slight. Oranges, the same way, you're mixing two colors together, but with the grays, you're actually going to need to mix a lot more than just two. So I'm going to start out with Graceful Gray. First going to wash my brush. Alright, so I'm looking at this and I'm seeing... I'm going to try a little bit of the... This is Cobalt Blue. And I'm not going to use a whole lot. Notice I'm actually wiping off my brush a little bit on my palette because I've got way too much color on there. Alright, now that I've got my blues, I'm thinking it's more along the cadmium red line. So that gave me a little bit of a grayish purple. And then I need to neutralize that. So I'm going to add some of the cadmium yellow light. To it. And I have made a gray. I don't know if it's the right gray yet, so I'm going to test it here. Alright, that to me is looking a little bit darker than that. And also, this looks a little more red, so I'm going to grab more of that red. Let's test it out. I 
close maybe if I just add a little water I'm thinking that might be a little too red I have a hint of that one. and voila that's the color when you're painting in watercolor, watercolor is always going to dry a little bit lighter. So you got to keep that in mind. That's why a lot of people tend to get really upset when they have finished, they've discovered the color, and then all of a sudden it dries way too light. So just keep that in mind. It always dries a little bit lighter. If you want it to dry quicker, all you need to do is dry off your brush to make it a little bit thirsty and pull out some of that color. So you can see that's pretty much that right that color right there. Alright. So next one I'm gonna go down the line here. So I'm going to go to fashion gray. Again I'm gonna grab my brush. So I think I'm gonna use the French Ultramarine. I'm going to grab a little bit of that. I might just mix it into this one. Let's see what that does. Oh, that was too blue. Yep, too blue. Alright, so I'm going to take some of the Lizarin Crimson. I'm going to add a little bit of the Cadmium Red. Looking a little purple to me. So I have to neutralize it again. A little bit of yellow. Up. Too red. Alright, so I get rid of that. Oop. And now we're back to purple. 